Hi guys, Randall here. Today I want to talk about the A Vow to Meet Again vision card that's currently available. It's a really strange spot for a vision card to be in, where it's released right now and it's decent now, but I think it's a VC that will really get much better when we get the Final Fantasy VI collaboration and there's Celeste released, who is a water-oriented tank, and then she really benefits from that VC a lot. Uh, but for now, it's kind of a tough call with the tough timing. It's in between two cost 100 units and there's a lot of good stuff coming in the near future, so we'll cover what it does, where it could be used, and whether it's a good investment right now or if it's better to wait. Before we dive into the VC itself, I want to touch on Miranda very quickly because this VC is great for Miranda. If you're going for EX Miranda or you've already built her, this will make her work even better. Uh, but the thing about Miranda is she is a great support, she can be very bulky and have decent damage, uh, so she's got an interesting and well-rounded kit, but she's pretty much blind. If you're fighting any team with a lockup card and some amount of evasion, Miranda is completely unreliable and will not be able to deal any damage to them. Uh, so for this reason, should you EX Miranda and get this VC for her? Not for competitive play, because there's a lot of evasion right now in competitive play, but for fun, I think they can be really good together. Uh, but without Miranda, the VC is still very interesting. On any Water Mage, it's going to increase their survivability by quite a bit. Magic up 10% is really good, uh, defense up 10 is crazy. That's, in terms of individual ability, that is a great takeaway. With that, it's very possible to make virtually any mage a lot more tankier than they could be otherwise, and if you're equipping this on somebody like Miranda or somewhere else Yrel, who naturally has good defense before this VC, well, they're going to be very hard to remove from the board. Uh, then the party ability gives agility up 15%, which is as much as we'll get from any VC, so that's very competitive and very good. Missile resistance up 10%, and lightning resistance up 20%. What I like about this combination is, uh, before, you would not run water in any kind of blind game modes, because in the off chance that you fight a Frederica team, your entire team just gets deleted in a single attack. With the 10% missile res and 20% lightning res, hopefully your team can now survive two attacks from Frederica. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be enough for water to beat lightning. It's just going to help you take a second hit before dying. You will still need multiple hits to hit your enemy team and they have more range than you. So is that the team to counter missile lightning with water? No, don't. All it does, it helps mitigate your uh, weakness a little bit. But outside of that, what this VC primarily gives you is a lot of bulk on the unit that equips it and extra agility and missile resistance on your other guys. That's really what it's about. I also think this will be a very decent secondary VC to use because of the agility. So the agility part from the data mining we've had in the secondary VC system will give roughly 45% of the original stats. So that's around 7% agility. Uh, this is enough to justify using a VC. 7% agility is actually quite a bit. And then you still get 4% missile res, 8% lightning res, that's not bad. Uh, but mainly the 7% agility really is a good reason to still have that VC on. And then the, in terms of individual ability, well, you're getting three defense on your unit, which again, the defense from an individual ability stacks with uh, the Esper, the equipment, and everything else, so in the end, it's usually the difference between, say, 50 and 53, which becomes rather impactful. So I like that as a secondary VC, and I think it's going to see a lot of play, even if it's not as a primary one. Uh, one issue this VC might have, though, is there is not a lot of people that want to wear it. You probably don't want to run Miranda. If you do, though, it's great for her, uh, but she doesn't have uh, an impact on the meta per se. Uh, Eldira is really great as a cheese pick, right? We still have those cheese blade builds and life PvP and in a lot of setups where people use Eldira's limit burst to just go through the enemy team very quickly. But here's the thing, these teams do not use vision cards like this one because they want extra agility on everyone, not just their water units. So I don't think this VC will be very good for those builds, and I don't think we'll see a lot of Eldira outside of the, these kind of builds. So this is... Uh, not necessarily a good reason to pick it. Uh, somebody like Moore, though, will really love this VC. But here's the thing, Moore also has her own VC that was released and gives her crazy stats that you probably want on Moore instead of this. So again, not the best pick for them. So if you're getting this VC, who are you really getting it for? Uh, and the reason, in my opinion, is for time-limited units that you might not have. I think this VC is fantastic on somebody like Aerith. She's a time mage, 
she's gonna go even quicker, haste quicker, quick and quicker, and then she herself, if she survives attacks, your entire team will never die, so giving her 10 more defense is really impactful. Somebody like Summer Elsirel is already very tanky versus physical, giving her even more bulk versus physical, why not? She's going to be hard to remove and she's going to keep doing her job. And then when Celeste hits the board, we're going to have a great tank that will really benefit from that extra missile resist, lightning resist, and of course defense up. So I think there will be upcoming units and there are already time limited units that are really good with it, but if you don't own those, then it's a bit of a harder choice. Uh, there will also be the water selection quest unit, Rachis, that will be released in the near future. Uh, Rachis is a Blade Soul main job, which is the same job as Varish, and she is great against magical enemies. That's really what Blade Souls are in general, but having a bit of extra physical bulk will help them do their job because they have short range and so they're susceptible to getting hit by multiple different enemies. So if you don't own Aerith or somewhere else URL and you don't plan on going for Celeste, I think you can safely skip this vision card. There will never be a scenario where we really miss it. Now it's pretty interesting because if you're looking to get agility, there are a bunch of alternatives, but the main one is the Black Rose of the Battlefield vision card, which is really good on mages. I don't think you need the water-oriented version. Of course, it's better. It also gives you missile resistance and lightning resistance and a lot of defense in the individual slot. But if you want a mage to increase your team's agility, most players already have a card for that. Otherwise, in terms of tankiness, though I think the Winter Holiday Party that gives you AoE resistance 20 is better overall than Lightning and Missile resistance. Just because it increases everybody's tankiness, yes, you're not getting the individual 10 defense, which is not, which is a bit unfortunate, but your entire team is tankier. So what this new VC really gives you is both the agility and some bulk together, which you would not have otherwise. Uh, but is it a must get for those reasons? Not really. And then if you want your Magic Mage to hit harder, there's already a, bun of, a bunch of options that all already exist. Uh, the Evout Meat again is not an offensive oriented vision card. If you wanted that water offense, you should go for the Moor VC or Siren. There's plenty of other options for these. So is this VC future proof? I think it is. I think when Celeste hits the board, in, on the JP side, we see a little bit of a water meta, and then uh, the water crystal unit is coming out. He's going to be very strong from what we've seen, and so that's probably going to give a lot uh, more space to water, but they don't have Ibarra. Maybe we'll see that Ibarra just obliterates water for times to come, and water never sees the light of day, but I'm expecting some water play to still be very viable. Can this VC allow water teams to beat lightning teams? No. It can help you a little bit, but don't go ahead targeting lightning teams with it. That's not what it's there for, but I still think it's going to be great. If you have Celeste and you want to make her tankier, there will be uses for it in the future. Uh, I also like this because most water VCs are physical, right? And there's a lot of great physical water vision cards, but there aren't that many great water magic oriented vision cards. So if you don't have the Winter Holiday Party or you don't have the more VC, then this gives you a good, a good VC to put on your water mages, just going and making your entire team stronger. So with all that said, I don't know whether players should be going for that VC or not. To be honest, I just don't know. Uh, if there wasn't Joom coming right out and a lot of good stuff in the near future, I would say go for it. It's going to be great. If there was a 2k paid banner where you could just get the VC, I would also say yes. But right now, I think for a lot of players, spending an entire 10,000 viz to get a VC might make them miss a really strong cost 100 unit that will be released in the near future or something during the FF4 collab or etc. And because of that, maybe you should choose not to go for it. So I would say assess your current amount of viz, see if you can do that, and if you have plans to run these water units. And then, yeah, maybe go for it if you have this pair of viz. What I'm personally doing, because I don't have the viz for that, is I'm getting the gill summons. I'm also doing the daily purchases because it gives me quite a few shards, and I think that's worth it for $1 a day. Um, and then when I get a VC of choice ticket or some of those uh, five guaranteed uh, URVCs, I'll hopefully pull it and have it in time for a Celeste release. But that's my current plan. So that's going to be it from me. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. Let me know uh, if you're planning on getting it or not, because I'm very curious to hear that. And then thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time.